introduction so battery three types of batteries are there totally three types of batteries are there one is the primary battery secondary second one is the secondary battery and third one is the low battery thus three types of batteries are there one is the primary battery next to secondary battery and low battery three types of batteries are there first what is primary battery primary battery is the non rechargeable battery this is the non rechargeable battery then the primary battery acting as only galvanic cell whereas secondary battery it is rechargeable battery so this is acting as galvanic as well as electrolytic cell galvanic as well as electrolytic cell the this is called as the reversible battery also here while the battery is recharging it is acting as galvanic cell whereas in the charging process the battery acting as electrolytic cell whereas primary battery acting as only galvanic cell only the charging process takes place in the primary battery whereas the low battery whereas in the flow battery anode and the cathode will flow through the electrolyte always the electrodes are flowing generally gases we are using so when we come to the example point of view for the primary battery zinc carbon battery can be used whereas in the secondary battery lead acid battery lithium ion battery these are the examples when we come to the flow battery hydrogen oxygen fuel cell these are the example for the primary secondary and flow battery so present topic is the lithium ion battery so lithium ion battery it is coming under the secondary battery so when it is acting as the secondary battery so the lithium ion battery consisting two process one is the discharging process another one is the charging process so whereas in the discharging process the lithium ion battery acting as galvanic cell in the charging process the lithium ion battery is acting as the electrolytic cell so what are the electrodes in the lithium ion battery any battery consisting two electrodes one is the anode and cathode or negative electrode and positive electrode whereas in the lithium ion battery the negative electrode is lithiated graphite lithiated graphite this is the negative electrode and positive electrode is 
lithium metal oxides so in the lithium metal oxides the metal may be cobalt or vanadium or chromium whatever the metals you can use any metal lithium metal oxides can be used so now i am taking the examples lithium cobalt oxide i am taking an example and lithiated graphite i am taking as a negative electrode and then i am i am going to explain to you so here two process are there you know discharging process and charging process when it comes to the charging process so lithium ions are moving from positive electrode to negative electrode in the charging process whereas in the discharging process the lithium ions are moving from the negative electrode to positive electrode so here in the charging process what is happening in the charging process a battery is acting as a electrolytic cell so anode is positive cathode is negative so at a negative at positive electrode that is the anode this is the cathode in the charging process so what is the positive electrode here lithium cobalt oxide is the positive electrode and lithiated graphite is the negative electrode in the charging process then what is the reaction at the anode and the cathode at the anode always oxidation reactions takes place at the cathode reduction reaction takes place so in the charging process at the anode oxidation reaction how it will take place so generally lithium cobalt oxide i selected as the positive electrode in my example so lithium will be oxidize here lithium cobalt oxide where the lithium will be extracted from the positive electrode which is called as anode in this case and intercalated into the negative electrode which is cathode so x number of lithium is ionized to give the x number of lithium plus and x number of electrons so the remaining one for example this is the one mole so one mole of the lithium cobalt oxide so here what happening one mole of this is the one mole of lithium it will remaining amount of the lithium is the 1 minus x cobalt oxide is present so this is the anodic reaction this the oxidation reaction in the charging process when it comes to the cathodic reaction cathode is the lithiated graphite so here the x number of lithium ions are moving from positive electrode to negative electrode through the polymer a conducting polymer that is electrolyte which we are using in the lithium ion battery so the electrons also flow through the wire and then they will come to the cathode 
then lithium ions and then electrons will combine to give the lithium again and it will be intercalated into the cathode to give the lithium graphite here lithiated graphite formation will take place at the cathode whereas at the anode the extraction of the lithium will take place and the intercalation of the lithium takes place at the cathode this is the charging process when we come to the discharging process So when you come into the recharging process, the lithium ions are extracted from the negative electrode to negative electrode and move to the positive electrode. Here, lithium lithiated graphite, where this is the anode. The x number of lithium ions are ionized to give the lithium Li plus and x number of electrons, and only graphite will be remaining. So, when you come to the cathodic reaction, the lithium ions are intercalated into the cathode here. So x number of lithium plus x number of electrons, it will be intercalated to give the lithium cobalt oxide. So this is the Discharging process. Is there a discharging process? Lithium ions are moving from anode to cathode. That is the negative electrode to positive electrode. So this is the negative electrode because it is acting as the galvanic cell. So this is the positive electrode. Cathode is the positive in the discharging process. So anode is negative whenever it is acting as the galvanic cell. Whereas in the charging process, the diode is acting as electrolytic cell, so the anode will be positive, cathode will be negative. So this is about the chemical reactions. Here the examples you can see. Here this this is the lithium ion battery. You can see where we are using in the mobile phones. As well as in the laptops, also we are using these batteries. And if you see the diagram where the lithium ions are extracted from this battery, the extracted from this, and then they can intercalated in the. So you can see the charging process, the charging process, what are taking place. You can observe. You can understand more. The same one. What is the charging process taking place? Here, if you see how the lithium ions are, this is the graphite, lithiated graphite. This is so. Whereas from this lithiated graphite, this is the lithiated graphite. Here, lithium ions are lithium is present, not ions. Lithium is present. So here, what happening? The lithium will be extracted from this, and then it will be intercalated into the where the positive electrode. 
here what is this is the negative electrode so the electrons will be ionized this lithium will be ionized and then electrons will flow through this wire and then it will reach us to the positive electrode like this in the recharging process from the graphite to graphite intercalated lithiated graphite to the the lithium ions are moving from lithiated graphite to say the lithium metal oxide the lithium metal oxide the metal can be used to either any metal metal can be taken and then i have taken example cobalt vanadium can be taken chromium can be taken or nickel can be taken any metal can be taken so this is about the recharging process in the charging process what happening the lithium ions are moving from this to this this direction this is about the lithium ion battery thank you